Hi guys, I'm back. I am working on some Silhouette Fairies for my new bottle project that I'm working on. Um, I mentioned in some of the other videos that, you know, a lot of my elements that I make, I kind of do them homemade or <clears throat> I kind of stick to, you know, the cheaper route of things. This is one of those. Um, most of the bottles for the videos that you guys have seen in the past, um, they are for this same concept here uh, a lot of the artwork that's on there is either done this way or it's transferred directly onto the bottle you know from painting it um, the fairies that I'm using right now these fairies actually came offline off of Google I just googled fairy silhouette and came up with some really neat ones um, one day playing on my phone and then I just emailed them to myself um, because I've done graphic design and, you know, I have the software on the computer, it makes it easy to zoom in, um, you know, to trace these out. I use the pad of tracing paper. I've probably mentioned this before in other videos. It's just this brand right here you can get from Walmart. And I really hate for the sideways view, y'all, but my camera is not, my, what I'm looking at here is not very wide. So you can get this pad right here at Walmart for, um, I think three or $4 and you get 40 sheets in it. And listen, I know a lot of y'all out there probably, you know, buy your elements that you want to put. If you're going to make a bottle or a jar or a decorated glass or anything like that. And that's fine. I mean, for me, I live on a very, very tight budget with two kids. So I don't have that extra money to, you know, go and spend, um, you know, several hundred dollars at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or wherever. I just kind of improvise a little bit and I, I like the way most of my stuff turns out. So, you know, it's all in, all in what you want to add to your bottles, but this is just an idea for anyone out there that, you know, might be floating in the same boat that I am. You don't have a lot of extra money to spend. So, um, and plus I like the personal touch. I like the personal touch with, you know, the, the painting onto the paper, painting onto the bottle. And I mean, that made some really, really nice stuff. I think, you know, doing things simple. So, um, anyhow, so where I'm at with these is, you know, they were traced out onto this, uh, tracing paper. And then I go into it with a Sharpie marker and I fill it in all the lines. And then you basically just get your acrylic paints, which these are really dirt cheap. I get these at Walmart for two for a dollar. Acrylic black paint, jet black paint. And then the acrylic white paint. And then, you know, you just get a fine tip brush. I got these brushes uh, at Walmart. Let me see if I can find them right here. A whole pack of these for four dollars. And I mean, there's every size brush that you have in there. And I mean, they are, you know, you don't have to be a, an artist to be able to paint them. But I mean, you know, there's different sizes and it's a good deal for them. So um, what I do is I fill in right here. I'm just kind of filling in the last little parts here. Um, it's not perfect. If you could look in, I mean, I can bring it in a little bit closer. You can look. I've went out of the lines like crazy, crazy right here. So, and that's fine. I mean, let it dry a little bit. And then um, actually I need to put this in water. Let it dry a little bit. And then... Uh, you're going to go back over it with a Sharpie marker and it'll, it'll fill in all of those uneven lines that you have on there. Basically just fill them back in. Um, the marker might feel like it's a little dry, but it usually comes back around. These are really good ones too. This isn't a regular Sharpie marker. This is an ultra fine point, ultra, well, let's go this way, ultra fine point marker. And I, I like them. I don't remember where in the world I got it from, but it works wonders, especially whenever it's a black paint with the black, you know, trying to fill it in here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm filling in all of my lines that were uneven. And then I will continue to fill them in. These right here have already been cut out. Um, this is actually her wings. Her wings that are here are going to go on her back. Um, I had it set out to where I could, I think, I want to say it goes like this. I want to say it goes like this. So, and yeah, that looks pretty even. So what I will do is, um, let me move these out of the way. And then, um, I always just put my paint like on a little piece of paper. I don't have one of those little funny looking things like I see 
most people have. Um, I need to get an egg dye-in kit because I notice a lot of people are using that for paint, and that's kind of cool too. But for right now, I just use paper. It works. You know, it dries out, and I throw it away. So I have my bottle here, and I normally work with the bottle standing straight up, but because you're not going to be able to see it, I'm actually going to lay the bottle down to where I have the room here. Um, a lot of it is still kind of faded out here, so... I mean, I can go back over it with another coat of paint, and I probably will, but I basically just take the bottle, whatever angle I want to use it in, and of course it's going to be a roly-poly bottle, um, and then I just figure out where I want to place it on here, you know, I figure out where on here I want it to go, so the first thing I'm going to put on here is going to be the wings, and I hope the wings aren't upside down, I don't think they are, they might be, they might be a little crazy here. I'm thinking I'm thinking I have it upside down. Let's go this way. Um, like this. Maybe. Play around with it. I mean, you know, you guys are getting an upside down view because I'm crazy. But anyway, so when you get it all on there and you mod podge it down to the bottle, um, let's see, you know what? Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom. That is it. That is all the zooming out I can get. It's not going to let me. Let's see if we can do this. Enable. Sorry, guys. I'm still trying to figure this webcam out. Let's see. Enable pan and tilt controls. What does zoom control mean? If anybody out there in the world of internet knows about webcams, hook a sister out. Uh